Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam as I have been observing the questions from the very beginning like the exam has started on May 2025 and it is still going on and I have been observing all the questions till the date so uh, what I have observed in the technical questions they are repeating some questions and they are not repeating fully but the pattern the type of questions are almost same so let me just show you what type of technical questions they are asking for CPP for Java both so please watch the playlist of uh, Mahindra so that you can get uh, like you can at least assume what type of questions they are asking and also please watch this video till the end so that you can get the points okay so guys please do subscribe this channel so that you'll be getting all the updated content and also I will be motivated to make more content for you only okay so let me show you the first question of today's session so the first question is shown to you so most of the technical questions are being asked from output based questions okay so now the question is what will be the output of the following c++ code so if you are from cpp or regardless of that like if you are from java also this will be helpful because the concept behind this is almost same in java so please watch till the end okay so uh, what will be the answer please pause the video and try to keep the answer in the comment section guys because uh, if I am answering then it is not helpful for you if you are answering and you are cross verifying then this will be helpful for you only okay so I hope you have tried so let me give you the answer so string s is equal to this and this 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 so what it is printing here that is from here to here what it is doing it is pushing all the spaces to the front and creating a logical end okay and then it is removing all those uh, logical end I mean the spaces and then printing spaces and in text okay I hope you understood so this is what it is doing I hope you understood so let me go to the next question so the next question is this so which of the following C++ code will give error in compilation so these are the codes so first code is here and the second code is here so to you guys please pause the video and try to give the answer which of the following C++ code will give error in compilation so I hope full code is visible to you guys so please give the answer okay so now before I give the answer guys I know you are struggling with the real questions recent questions and all the repeated coding questions 100% repeated coding questions so I must admit that you must have to have the five star rated prime materials in which you will get all the recent questions with answers as you can see five star and also you can see how we are performing and how students are giving feedbacks to us like as you can see so here students are giving feedbacks so you can see all of these and just visit topmate.io slash techno underscore web and click on mind the rise full preparations there we are giving all the 100% uh, repeated coding questions along with that cognitive and spatial reasoning interview preparations and all the technical stuffs as well so please visit and have the materials with you so the link will be given in the description box please find the link below okay so now what is the answer code one only neither code one or nor, nor code two both code one and code two or code over two only so please give the answer okay so now here always we are using using namespace steady and this 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 but here we are not using so might be your question is that this code is okay but this code is having a problem but the answer is no why because this is also right and this is also right why because instead of okay so here we ha we are using a scope resolution operator which are actually preventing the compilation issue okay instead of uh, using namespace std we are using this scope resolution operator which is preventing us to get the compilation error okay i hope you want to now okay so now let me go to the next question so that's why the question's answer will be both code 1 and 2 are okay okay sorry neither code 1 nor code 2 okay this is the answer i hope you understood so let me go to the next question okay what is the value of p in the following c++ code snippet so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section so this is very important for java guys as well so please give the answer because the concept from here to here is same just ignore this part okay so int p bull 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 okay now x is 10 
x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. Now, this is bitwise OR operator. So, what happens in case of bitwise OR operator? That is, let's say, uh, so for 10, it is 10, 10. It is the binary value of 10 and binary value of 5, that is 101. Okay. Now, what happens in bitwise OR operator? That is, if one statement is true, one statement is false, then it is true. At least one statement to be true and it will be fully true okay zero one it is also one only zero zero here it is zero false okay so what will happen if we perform bitwise or operation between 10 and 5 so zero one it is true 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 so now it is the uh, like binary value of 15 okay i hope you know if you don't know then also please let me know in the comment section i'll make a brief explanation uh, videos on this okay i mean how to convert binary to decimal decimal to binary etc etc so now x or y x or y we have performed this operation sorry if x because or y so we have performed this operation so this value is now p is equal to 15 plus a plus b so a is true a is true plus false what is that true plus false so it becomes 1 so 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 so what it will print that is 16 okay i hope you understood how did we solve this problem and how we got the answer so option 16 is the correct answer okay so let me go to the next question so the next question is shown to you guys please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section what will be the output of the following c++ code and guys uh, before i give the answer various like uh, i have got information that uh, various problems you are getting like uh, there may be compilation issue that's why you could not compile the code and you could not find the file where to write like dot java where to write dot cpp where to write the code you don't know right and also sometimes uh, the electricity problem network problem for this you are getting this problem so if this happens then please try to apply that apply link will be given in the description box or in the comment section please try to apply again and uh, like uh, try to apply from different mail and try to give the answer like try to give the exam again okay so i hope you understood but i don't know uh, if it it will work for you or not but still working for various students so i that, that's why i'm recommending it okay so now what is the answer for this uh, segmentation fault nothing is printed error and this what is the answer okay so let me give the answer though here you might have seen already that c i n c i n c i n c i n what is this so c i n this is a variable here we are using okay and this is a object as well okay so now if i am using a keyword in a variable then here it is overriding the object okay the variable cin is overriding the object okay so i hope you understood so that doesn't make sense that doesn't make any uh, error i think so that's why it will just print i mean that that will just print a garbage value nothing else so that's the thing you have to know that is answer is cin garbage value okay no error will be printed but it will just print a garbage okay so i hope you understood so let me go to the next question which will be a quiz question for you guys so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section so the quiz question will be for you and this type of questions will be asked to you again so please be rem like remember this and try to implement whatever i am telling you okay and at the end again please guys uh do subscribe and do discuss all of your problems at our telegram channel t.me slash we can now please visit that the link will be given in the description box and also if you are struggling with various placement related problem then please visit topmate.io slash techno underscore uf there we have already uploaded all the various companies materials like uh, TCS, Cognizant, uh, PwC, Minderize, Zoho, and also Delta X, Infosys, uh, Wipro, Goldman Sachs, this, I mean, uh, like uh, Capgemini, Accenture, Take Mindra, Mindtree, Deloitte, 
and various other companies as well so please visit that and have the materials with you and get the opportunity to get into a uh, mnc okay so i hope you will do so so thank you for today's